After literally decades of blood, sweat, and tears, the freedom to marry is finally the law of the land. Historic ruling here that for the first time the Supreme Court has said there is a constitutional right. Same-sex marriage, you can hear for people who are lesbian, gay, bisexual, or transgender. The Pentagon announcing plans to end the ban on transgender troops in the military. I will be the first transgender male on the cover of Men's Health magazine. Trans people deserve your respect. I hope you watch with compassion to learn something about a community that you may not carry me. Boy Scouts of America, they've ended a decades-long ban on gay scout leaders. The Patrick's Day Parade in South Boston has become a march into history for the first time gay rights groups taking part in that. Luke Fanning, the first openly gay leader of a military service branch in U.S. history. The place is called Mi Centro. It's this collaboration between the Los Angeles LGBT Center and the Latino Equality Alliance. This badge saves lives. This visibility matters. Roberts, an MSNBC host, became the first openly gay anchor on a network news broadcast. Kate Brown is sworn in next week. She'll make history as the country's first openly bisexual governor. Tonight we celebrate. We celebrate especially because today's decision was about so much more than marriage. Today's decision was proof that we can change the world. The killings of three trans women were reported over a 24 hour period. Another was killed the following day. Their deaths brings the total of killings of trans women in America this year to 17. In 31 states, people are at risk of being fired, evicted, or refused service just because they're gay. She said that we don't serve, um, can I say, fags here. An ordinance that would have protected gays and transgender people from discrimination was easily defeated in Houston. 40% of the homeless youth in LA are LGBT. One of the biggest issues facing older LGBT people is affordable housing. We cannot forget that our fight is far from over. To fight against institutional abuse. David says as a teen he was taken from his home and held against his will at a camp in the Dominican Republic because he's gay. Although so-called pray the gay away conversion programs like this one are illegal here in California, LA's LGBT Center says many camps use different names here to get around the law. And that needs to stop. There will not be a religious exemption in this legislation. Only three out of 10 gay men had been tested for HIV in the last year. 30% said they'd never been tested. The center's commitment to our community's sexual health has never wavered. This new site will enable us to triple the number of people that we are caring for to at least 15,000. It's like our new campaign says, whatever you are into, you're always welcome at the Los Angeles LGBT Center. Too many trans women have to turn to the street economy to survive. Today, people are going to get connected with good jobs and no longer have to put themselves in danger to survive. It's a big announcement from the Los Angeles LGBT Center today. The new building that will double the amount of housing for homeless LGBT youth and seniors. It's the biggest gay center providing the most services of anywhere in this country, probably in the world.